Hi everyone, it's Debbie Nelson from Alternative to Meds, and I'm in Peoria, Arizona, which um, this is kind of our neighbor to Sedona. But every time I find someone that is like-minded and doing this kind of work, um, I promise that I will expose their work uh, so that there's continued resources for all people that are out there. And I was so excited the minute I got here because this doctor, and Brain Wellness AZ is amazing. He does um, outpatient services for people with um, every kind of disorder. And I've been so impressed by everything. This is Dr. Timothy Gerhardt. Correct. Um, and I love everything that you do. So far as if we walked through, and I'll flip it around as we go, but I always like to show people this is how Alternative to Med Center treats and I always open up our cupboards and show people how we get people well you have a pretty impressive wall um, of what you Thank do you. so tell me a bit about all the disorders that you help people with you've got several books right. so the first thing is people come to us typically with a long list of problems as long as my arm so we call it I'm a holistic physician because people come with a whole long list of problems. <laughs> that's a and good so, approach, yeah, that's true. The second thing that we've learned I'm is... I'm going to scoot you up here because okay. I want you to be... This is, this is the guy talking. The second thing I've learned is treating the condition is very limited and doesn't work very well. So instead, we treat the person, and that's more than just words. We call it solving the puzzle. And so I've never seen a puzzle with one piece. So somebody may come in with a label of anxiety or whatever. We don't treat anxiety. We treat the person and they have typically 12 or 14 different symptoms when you really stop to listen. Then in solving the puzzle, it's not one piece. In the puzzle diagraphic we use and I highlight in our books is eight different pieces. Uh, the mitochondria. We are as healthy as our mitochondria. And many people are so sick or so unwell, they need a battery charger, right. like photons of light, photobiomodulation, low-level laser. They're not going to get well without it. Then we, we work with the gut, leaky gut in the first, second brain. The, the second is the microbiome is one of the most exciting areas now in evolving research in this area. And we can safely say we are as healthy as our mitochondria and microbiome, and they're fully interconnected. And the microbiome is the largest organ in our body by cell number that we've never heard of, over 100 trillion cells. And most of them live in our large intestine. These are the bacteria and all the other microorganisms that are critical for us being healthy when they're in balance, and they make us sick when we're not. So what would you do to make that healthy? I mean, what do people do? Solving the puzzle. Okay. And so everybody's different, but we have to address the different key issues. If somebody's having Captain Crunch for breakfast, Pepsi and uh, pretzels for lunch, with M&Ms as their health food color snack, they're not sleeping, <laughs> yeah. they're living under the hormones of stress, they right. believe sleep is a waste of time, uh, exercise is pushing the remote while they're tipping the can of diet Pepsi, that doesn't work. Right. Uh, if they're low vitamin D, low essential fatty acids, if their glutathione is depleted, we have to address these critical issues. If they're exposed to a lot of junk light, blue screen, right. and it's overstimulating their already over revving brain, we have to help that. Right. And so our approach is first of all to listen, to do a really thorough history, we call it a foundation visit, because it's the foundation. If you don't get it right, you're probably not gonna help them. Right. Then from that, then we can talk about the kinds of testing and assessments because what gets measured gets improved. If you don't measure it, you can't throw things at the wall and hope they stick. Right. That doesn't work with complex chronic. We have to s sort out what are the major issues. We need a metric or measuring stick. We do what we think makes sense and then we need to measure to see if it worked. And if it didn't, we need to change. Or as people get better, we need to change. So we have to close the loop. Instead, well, try this and you're low in vitamin D, just take 50,000 once a week and buy. You have to close the loop and retest to see if it worked because often they have a vitamin D receptor defect. Vitamin D won't work. 
Wow. They, they need vitamin K2 and vitamin A. They need higher levels. You gotta work with getting the gut healed. Then you can recheck and see how it worked. So how many books altogether have you written? Uh, four. Okay, we, so, we've got to, can we get your assistant? We need to bring over some of the books so that people can see. The first one was Seven Secrets to Wellness. Okay. Part of it in my story, uh, I'm 150 pounds right now, very lean. When I was sick, I was down to 118. Uh -huh. uh, I was so sick. It was one of those, you feel so bad, you, you think you're going to die, and sometimes you kind of wish you would. Right. So this is the second edition of the first book. The third edition The third edition is now fully rewritten as Seven Steps to Wellness. Then the second book on the journey was Change Your Brain, Transform Your Life. And that really reflects my diving into functional neurology, doing the brain scans, brain mapping, QEEG, and learning how to when we can help the brain to write new software, we can change a life. We can change a family. Oh. Uh, it's profound stuff. Okay. Uh, the third one is why am I not right since my concussion? And most of us have had far more concussions than we realized. I stopped counting at 14 for me. Oh my goodness. My most recent was a really serious one. And within 12 months of that, I was having word salad. I would be talking and the words would come out jumbled and I was sleeping 13 hours a day and exhausted and so I needed to go through a process of healing my brain. So I wrote this book to make it, and I learned a ton writing it, to make it far easier for people. This is described as a program for injured brain recovery. Okay. Because so often, untreated concussions and the problem, anxiety, mental health issues can show up decades later. Wow, really? Up to, the research says up to 30 years. And I think it's interesting. Yes. My daughter um, actually had a traumatic brain injury, but there was supposedly no permanent damage, but she ricocheted off of a car going about 40 miles per hour yes. with her head. And um, so it's interesting so when you say we that. We do testing. We can measure the effects. Wow. And then we can measure if what we're doing are solving the puzzle is working to help the brain recover. Okay, and then it... the most recent one is living free of dementia, and this is profound. My mother's ten years down the Alzheimer's road and doing surprisingly well, but I can tell you, the first thing is people believe that Alzheimer's is there's nothing can be done and it's just bad luck. I can tell you most of it is environment lifestyle choices. Wow. The sooner we start, the more likely we are to help people. So the subtitle is Solving the Puzzle to Prevent and Reverse Cognitive Decline. And that's what we usually see happen. If people do the work and we're not too late. Too late is what I've learned. If you're in hospice with Alzheimer's, it's probably too late. Yeah. And I've learned not to rule out your amazing, remarkable ability of the brain right. to recover. And so we've seen rather, really remarkable things. And that's the way it is at alternative yeah. meds. I always have people will say the same, like, is it right. possible? And I say, the brain's amazing. We give it the right yes. components to be able to heal, and it's yes. amazing what can occur. So I'm going to flip it. Itching to get well. Yeah. Wellness is balanced. When we're out of balance, we just need to add enough of the good stuff, remove enough of the bad stuff. So I'm going to do a further podcast okay. with this guy because... Yeah. Your story. I can't wait to hear the inspiration behind all this, but I want to show everyone. Sorry, guys, my phone's still on here. So I'm gonna um, flip it around so that everyone can see firsthand. This is how doctors that are healing people treat. Um, it's pretty amazing. So this is how doctor. It's pretty amazing. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just, uh, you know, seeing this. So this is on an outpatient, but when people arrive here, you know, it's testing. It's giving people um, some great. Do you want to show me some of your rooms really quick? Sure. We'll walk through it. So, you know, he has a lot of different innovative um, things that he's doing. Yep. That is what we're about. Yes, that is. I, when I when I meet doctors um, like this, I always get almost emotional just because for me it's such a um, I want to make sure that people get well. This is our brain room. All right, this is brain room. 
And this is where we do brain scans, where we listen to brainwave activity, and we do neurofeedback, which is actually guiding the brain in writing new software. For example, new software with calm, peaceful as a new norm. Instead of living under continuous anxiety and the flip side depression, right. when that's severe, it's called bipolar. Right. And so the reality is we need to help the brain move back into balance. We don't treat bipolar. We don't treat anxiety, depression. We treat the person and help them create balance. Add enough of the good stuff, remove enough of the bad stuff. So this is the one, non we And then this is one of our therapy bays. Okay. And so this is microcurrent that we use when we do ear acupuncture. Okay. Needle free, incredibly soothing and balancing. We use it with anxiety, with addiction, with sleep problems. You can treat the whole body through this. This is one of our uh, one of our therapeutic lasers that we use. And then we have, oh, I'm sorry. We have oh. another one of our lasers right here. Okay. And so, um, you get a sense of, we can use frequencies, and if you look at it on me, I can treat my second brain and prefrontal cortex at the same time, or I can treat parietal lobe, I can treat cerebellum, uh, and we're using different frequencies uh, to have different effects. I can do calming frequencies, I can do frequencies for inflammation, and I have multiple tools. Another uh, one of our transcranial, that is a uh, power plate, which is a wonderful tool. This is frequency specific microcurrent, one of my favorite tools for concussion. And this is a uh, this is another one of our transcranial lasers, and so let me find a chair here. So with this, I can actually. Normally, I have a therapist setting me up. I can treat uh, the entire brain at the same time and to energize the brain, because what does our brain need to work right? It needs energy, energy, energy. In fact, I do these kinds of therapies for me as part of my own wellness. Wow, that is pretty amazing. It's amazing to see innovations that are being done and that you're implementing. So I'm so thankful. I always like to connect with like-minded and we're gonna feature him on our podcast and do a more extensive um interview with you because you're amazing yeah it's it's great and this wellness center is wonderful so you specialize in helping all different um people if i had to and i don't use the word specialize as much as we focus on solving the puzzle solving the puzzle it's not this for that right that model does not work with complex chronic disease it doesn't if you have a sprained ankle yes ice and put on a put on a brace but when people have a long list and they've suffered for far too long, especially brain brain and mental health issues, we must solve the puzzle. Right. Well, thank you so okay. much. I appreciate you taking the time to let me visit you and see this wonderful place. And he's in Peoria, Arizona, and he is available to be able to help people here. So thank you. Thank you.